hi everyone uh, this is naresh uh, today i want to discuss uh, some uh, in chemistry part of uh, fundamental particles of an atom um, in atom uh, we already know that uh, atom is a, a smallest uh, particle okay ikkada manam chusinatlaite atom the correct definition of an atom atom is a smallest unit of ordinary matter that forms a chemical element okay already know that um, what is an atom what is the matter things which are occupy the space things which are the occupy the space and has some mass that is called matter in this universe everything is matter chapan chodandi ikkada manam mana surroundings lo so many things are there for example this cap so this is a cap so it has uh, some mass is a mass mass is nothing but some weight so i want to keep it here so it is occupies some space so this is this is a thing in this thing it occupies a space in this thing it occupies some space and it has mass so this is called matter this is called matter same like that so many things are there in the universe everything is matter everything is matter like that like in our surroundings you have to observe mana chuttu pakkalo ne chodachandi prathidi kuda matter ante edaithe oka vastu ah oka place ni occupy chestundo oka place ni occupy chestundo and daniki oka something mass nothing but weight kaligi untundo that is called that is called matter that is called matter ani cheppochu okay okay you can see here that uh, definition of matter so atom an atom is a smallest unit of ordinary matter that forms a chemical element okay in this atom uh, it has uh, some particles so in these uh, main particles are three three are the main particles let's see the what are the main three particles in this atom okay let's see for example here uh, this is a atom structure this is a atom structure in this atom has the main three particles main three particles that is uh, electrons protons and uh, neutrons actually we can uh, uh, describe this uh, symbol the notation of the electron simply e the proton notation is uh, p simply p the neutron notation is n okay electron e proton p and neutron n and it also it has a uh, some charge that is a charge we can determine the charge as negative charge negative electrons has negative charge protons have positive charge and the neutrons has no charge that is zero okay now let's find the where is the position of the electrons protons and neutrons in this atom let's see so in this atom every atom has a centroid that is called a nucleus that is called a nucleus in this nucleus is contain two particles are there mainly two particles present in that nucleus that is the protons and neutrons okay the protons and neutrons inside the nucleus and outside of the nucleus is a uh, one of the particle that is the electron the electron is always around the nucleus in different paths different paths okay so this is a atom structure Okay, I will repeat again that uh, atoms has three main particles. That is, uh, electrons, protons, and neutrons. Electrons is a negative charge. Protons is a positive charge. Neutrons has no charge. It has a no charge. So protons and neutrons inside the nucleus. Electrons are outside the nucleus. Okay, clear? Yeah. So the center of the, for example, this is an atom structure in the different parts. So uh, nucleus center of the nucleus, it has a proton. that is a positive charge the remaining electrons are uh, electrons are position in the outside of the nucleus that in the different paths different way the different uh, in form like uh, this way is called uh, electron's path or uh, is called also called uh, orbit 
let's see in the different type of orbits so so here the electrons path this is the first path if n is equal to 1 that is the first path if n is equal to 2 that is the second path if n is equal to 3 that is the third path if n is equal to 4 that is the fourth part the so like that so on you can draw the different paths for example if n is equal to 1 that particular name you can use the particular name that is a k so if n is equal to that named as l if n is equal to 3 that named as n m if n is equal to 4 that is the name as n k l m n so in the different names you can determine the different names with the different paths of all so the different path is are um, is also called orbit it's also called orbit or shell shell okay so this is a nucleus in this uh, in the outermost orbit the electrons path is also called orbit or shell okay i will repeat that uh, if n is equal to 1 the number of L paths number uh, that is n is equal to 1 that is uh, represented as a k letter n is equal to 2 k that is l n is equal to 3 m n is equal to 4 n okay for example uh, in every orbit in every uh, in every shell has subshell if n is equal to 1 that uh, particular the first shell is named as yes that, that is called subshell if n is equal to 2 it has a 2 subshell the second shell has 2 subshell that is named as yes and p if n is equal to 3 it has a 3 subshell that is named as yes p d okay if n is equal to 4 if n is equal to 4 it has a four subshells that is uh, named as s p d and f okay is a very important topic let's uh, listen carefully so in this atom the center of the path uh, that is called nucleus in the nucleus the outermost shell is called orbit that is orbit the electrons path is called orbit or shell in every shell has the subshells so if n is equal to 1 you can remember like that if n is equal to 1 it has only one shell that is s s subshell if n is equal to 2 it has a two subshells that named as s and p if n is equal to 3 it has a three subshell that is named as s p d if n is equal to 4 that is named as s p d f okay now so what are the shells shells are K L M N are shells. So on. these are the shells. What are the subshells? Like S, P, D, and F. These are the subshells. I will repeat again these are the named as shells these are subshells every shell has subshells that is k k shell it contain only one subshell that is s if l shell contain two subshell that is s and p if n m shell contain three subshells s p d if n shell that is a con it contain four subshells that is s p d f okay Okay, next class we'll discuss the the position of the electrons of in this an atom okay like thank you